Facebook Live, what's going on? Jenny's a little tied up right now, dyeing her hair, watching Gray State. Well, the volume's off. Anyway, guys, what's coming on the earth is scary, but we all must rely on the almighty Yahweh and sent his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to be crucified so we could be reconciled back to the Father, back to him, and so we could be saved and not perish, but gain everlasting eternal life with the king. Hallelujah. I'm very tired. Just figured I'd come on and say hi. God bless you guys. All you guys are in our prayers. All you guys are in our thoughts. And um, I hope we're in yours. We'll say a quick prayer tonight. I could say a prayer laying down. It doesn't make a difference, right? <laughs> Father, we, we thank you for the people on Facebook. We thank you for all the souls that have came to Christ recently through yes, us and through them. Father, we, we pray for your increase in provision and blessings upon their life to just keep increasing and keep yes, keep your hedge of protection on the body of Christ. Keep your hedge of protection on us and on the people that tune in on Facebook yes, Live and on social media because they're hungry and they're thirsty for righteousness. And the Bible says they shall be filled. And do it through us, do it through them. Let us preach the gospel to the four corners of the earth and let the elect awaken to, to the war and awaken to their warrior state through the Holy Spirit. And let your Holy Spirit minister to us and let it never depart from us. Let it be with us always in the name of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, the Son, the Messiah. Father, give us the strength to come out of her. Yes. The Bible says, come out of her, my people. Let us come out of Babylon. Yes. Let us be removed from Babylon and back to the traditions of the scriptures and of the elders of the Bible and not the traditions of men, not the vain rituals and traditions of mankind. Let us come yes. out from that and realize that and start to celebrate the seven feast days, the yes. Sabbath, yes. because you made the Sabbath day for you, Father, not for man. And we love you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the Sabbath day. Happy Shabbat, everybody. Hallelujah. We will rest and rejoice in it, even though we did do some work today yes, um, around the house. I helped Jenny's mom out and stuff. And that was a blessing indeed, too. Anytime we could um, volunteer ourselves to helping our family and our friends, it is a blessing. That's what we're here for. So, ministry. hallelujah. That is ministry. Right, Amen. And friends. God bless all you guys. Hallelujah. In say the name of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Why do you, you say a prayer for America because it came to you. Okay. So, yeah. All right. I won't, I won't have you on it. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for your precious blood, Lord God, that you shed on the cross for all of our sins, Lord God. We just pray for all to come to the saving knowledge of the truth in Christ Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for your hand of protection over this nation. We pray that it would remain. We pray for godly sorrow and the goodness of God to fall mightily over the hearts of the people in this nation. Repentance. And leaders as well. And lead us in the way of repentance and let the Holy Spirit of truth lead and guide us into all truth and we come against we sever any root of deception and strong delusion that's lingering in this land Amen. and we pray Lord God that you would remove the principality um, just many principalities any dark principality the dragon yep the beast that you would remove all dark principalities from the land Father God we thank you that because the veil has been torn, we have access to enter in boldly, and we will declare your word to the ends of the earth before the end shall come. And the night is coming, and there's an urgency that no man shall work at that time. So we really just pray that you stir up our spirits by the Holy Spirit, and you give us the urgency 
to stir something in us that sparks a revival flame where we will have a holy boldness and we will not bow down to, to bow. man's opinion. We will not bow down to Baal and any false gods. We will not associate or be connected with Belial. What harmony has righteousness and unrighteousness and darkness and light cannot go together. We cannot drink of the Lord's cup and of the cup, cup of, of devils. devils at the same time. Be ye separate. I pray for the sanctification <clears throat> process and a quick refining speedily by the fire of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name and that the gift of tongues, the gift of healings, the gift of miracles, the gifts of different types of tongue languages, the different types of spiritual gifts and offices that you have for your people, Lord. And if you be lifted up, you will draw all men to yourself. And for the activation of the offices, release all in apostolic, pastoral, evangelical, prophetic, teachers, all of the five offices. And, you know, for anyone out there that's watching that doesn't believe the gifts or the offices are for today, um... Me and Eric are going to pray and, and hopefully do a video on that topic, right? Yeah, we will. So, Lord, I just pray for a deeper revelation and understanding because this is the core foundation of the church. These offices and these giftings. It comes from what you did on the cross. And we, I pray that you would strengthen us to be activated to our full capacity and purpose and destiny that you have already preordained for us since the before the foundations of the earth, let no man steal your crown. Hallelujah. Let us not be caught off guard. Let us have our lamps lit. The king is coming soon. Let us prepare in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, you know, right. when me and Jenny were coming back from Pennsylvania, okay. I'm not putting you on there. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> God. When me and her were coming back from Pennsylvania, driving back, we were in between Jersey and the city. And when we were in Jersey going into the city, we saw a cloud. And this oh, cloud looked good. like an animal. Yeah. And we thought it was like a dog at first or something. And then as we got closer to the city and, and went into the city, actually before we went into the tunnel, the it, the cloud manifested and we saw clearly. And it looked like a dra it was exactly like a dragon worshiping the sun. Yeah. A dragon with its with its hands going like this, worshiping the sun with his mouth open, wide open, like this, worshiping the sun. And we couldn't get a clear picture of it. We weren't in time, and there was stuff blocking it, but it was so crystal clear. She didn't even want to take a picture of it at first. I wanted to. She was like, no, I don't even want that on my phone. And then after a while, like, oh, we should get a picture. And I, it's somewhere in my phone, but when I find it, I'm going to post it. But it, at one point, it was so clear. It was a principality over New York and New Jersey. And we could feel it. When we were in Pennsylvania, they were just the people are nicer. Even if they're not Christian, they're just people are nicer. It's calmer. It's more at peace. New York, you could just feel it going into New Jersey and New York. You could just feel the shift. And then that thing manifested. And I'm from the city. I'm from Brooklyn. And I that, that that whole lifestyle that comes with it, the hustle and bustle, always running from here and there, to and fro, never having peace, always having to have a side hustle to make extra money to pay bills and get things that you need and get things that you want, always having to show somebody you're doing something. It's, there's just a stronghold over New York that we don't have in Long Island. Well, we have in Long Island, but it's not as bad as it is in the city. And but that they don't have down south, they don't have in Pennsylvania, and they don't have in a lot of other areas and a lot of other states. Where we went in Pennsylvania, it was basically the beginning of the Bible Belt. And there's a lot of, I think it has to do with the church and the prayers of the saints of God in these states that are preventing certain principalities and powers from taking over these regions. There's a heavy principality, not only of Jezebel upon New York, but the god of fortune is worshipped. The false mother goddess, the queen of the coast in the marine kingdom. All of these deities are worshipped in New York knowingly or unknowingly. And there's a big stronghold over New York and Jersey. And we must pray against it. Pray to the Lord Jesus Christ to remove it. 
Pray to the Father, Yah, through the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth to remove these things. Amen. But we know that judgment is coming to America and that the church does have the authority on earth to pray to the Lord and to take up our rightful dominion and authority and, and tarry some things. And, and the judgment of the Lord will tarry. See, the judgment of the Lord that's coming upon this earth and this country especially is from years of slavery, years of bloodshed, years of Freemasonry, years of Luciferianism, years, from, years of conquering other nations. And that's one thing when I first got saved, I came to Christ and I, I repented for my forefathers in case they were slave owners. I repented for... Um, for for the, my race and what we did to Africans um, in the 16th and 17th centuries and 18, 18th centuries too, when we brought so many slaves here. Um, this country was built off that. It was built off bloodshed. Millions of Native Americans slaughtered. So, Father, right now we repent for our yes. forefathers in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Any, any, but we all need to repent for our forefathers' iniquities, but especially in this country, we repent for the government and the foundation that it started upon in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord said, any foundation, any house built on a weak foundation cannot stand, will not stand. It will get blown away when the storm comes. And everybody wants the American government to turn around and this and that, but they're forgetting one thing. This country was built off a wicked foundation. You could argue, I have all the facts, so if you want to argue with me about this, we could have an hour-long conversation about it. And it's undeniable. This country was built on wicked foundation, and, and it's continuing today. But, it, and see, we have the powers of the church more than the government to change things. We are directly connected to the Lord. We are the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. We can pray. And have the Lord have compassion and mercy and grace upon this country yes. and tarry the judgment. Yes. So right now we pray, Father, that your judgment tarries just like the song you gave us. Lord God, forgive me for my iniquity. Father, forgive the wickedness of this country. Yahweh, I pray your judgment tarries. Elohim, come back for the people that you marry. El Shaddai, come and rescue your bride. My sin, my shame. You cleared my slate. I don't need to hide, don't need to hide anymore. Hallelujah. You cleared our slate. We don't need to hide. We need to take the dominion, take the authority, yes. take this rightful stand in the territory as the church of the Most High God. Hallelujah. In the name of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, the Son and the Messiah, we pray to you, Father, that you break these yes. principalities over the land and that yes. you forgive us for our iniquities and our forefathers' iniquities and all the blood that's shed in this country, including right now as we speak, the blood from all these abortions, innocent yes. blood. Jesus. We break that in the name of Jesus Christ and we ask for your forgiveness. We ask that godly sorrow comes upon these people and they Jesus. repent in all these abortion clinics. We pray that they repent, and we repent for them right now in the name yes. of Jesus Christ. We're asking for your forgiveness, Father, but also you are a just God, and your righteous judgment must come upon the earth for blood that is spilled. It is written, so we cannot deny that, but we in faith are praying for your tarrying judgment, Father, that it tarries a little while longer, and you give us a grace period in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that when, when it does come upon us, Father, that you come back for us or you give us the strength and the courage to endure it. In the name of Yahweh Shai, the Son, we love you, Father, for your grace and mercy. We repent and we, we love you and we, we're asking you, Father. We're begging you to hear our prayer and to tarry things in this nation. Because the way things are going, the explosion in Lebanon, we pray for the Lebanese people in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that your strength is upon them and you come into their hearts and manifest yourselves to them of the crucified Christ so that they may get a heavenly revelation and be saved for the day of judgment. And, and they could partake and be partakers of the sheepfold, of your sheepfold, Father.
And we pray that you heal the people up that are sick and that are that are injured or dying from that big explosion, Father. We pray that the, the righteous judgment comes from that and that you, you give to those people that did that exactly what they deserve. But before that, I pray they come to repentance too and be saved in the name of Jesus Christ and that their blood is not spilled for the innocent blood they spilled because it was no accident. It was a purposed, it was a purposed thing. It was a purpose thing. Forgive them, Father. For they know not what they do. They don't know the Lord Jesus Christ is Lord. They don't know you are judging the earth, Father. They don't know there is a wicked system. And if they are part of the wicked system, they don't know your power and your glory because the devil has deceived them, deceived the hearts of the simple-minded. Amen. Hallelujah. We love you for your grace and your mercy, Father. Thank you for your salvation. Continue to give to us and increase our goods, Father, and give us strength to do the mission. Give us provision for the mission. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Let us go back to the Hebrew roots from the Bible. Let us go back to the to the, not under law, but let us go back under grace the way it's supposed to be done. Like the book of Acts. Let us bear each other's burdens. Let us come together in fellowship. Let us come together in prayer. All races, all creeds, all nations, all tongues. Never discriminating against each other. But let the church of God be at peace with each other. And be in subjection to the law of the Lord under the grace of God. Not under the law of God. For the law killeth, the letter killeth, but the spirit giveth life. Hallelujah. Bestow your Holy Spirit upon your church like never before. Pour out your glory, Father, like never before. The wave of glory is coming, and he who rides the wave shall be blessed. He who gets taken under by the undertow shall be scattered. Hallelujah. We thank you for your grace and mercy and your wonderful revelation and wisdom and knowledge that you're giving to people across the earth, across the four corners of the earth, whether they are in a prison cell, whether they are in a rehab, whether they are homeless, or whether they have many riches. You give your riches and increase them in men and you use the lowly things to confound the mighty things. You use the foolish things to confound the wise things because you are the wise king. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for your salvation. We thank you for your precious blood that washes us clean. Give us the strength to put down these vices and to yield to the spirit and not the flesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what it's all about. Philippians 4.13. Christ strengthens me. When I'm weak, Christ give me, gives me the strength to go on. When I'm tired... Christ give me the energy to go on. When I doubt, Christ give me the faith to go on. When I'm in unbelief, Christ makes me believe. When I'm injured or hurt, Christ heals me. When I'm emotionally weak, Christ comes in and uproots all the pain and the trauma and the bad words from people from the past. When I have relationship problems, he restores it. He is the one because I restore my relationship. He restores my relationship with him. Therefore, my relationship with other people and with my girlfriend prosper because of my relationship with Christ. Hallelujah. It's all about him. Everything is about the Lord Jesus Christ. If we don't have him, we have nothing. Nothing. I was a poor man, not only physically. I'm still say I'm a poor man physically in the natural, right? But spiritually, I was poor. I was wretched. I was downtrodden, broken, and I didn't even see it. I thought that's all life was. I thought that's all, all there was to life was being miserable, being depressed, being on drugs, 
cursing all the time, fighting all the time, hitting people first because I didn't want them to hit me first. So I would swing on somebody if I was having a bad day. See, the devil will deceive us into thinking that that life, that there is no meaning to life. There are atheists right now deceived to thinking we are nothing but stardust. And this whole thing was a coincidence. It's such foolishness. But these people have degrees. These people are wealthy people. These people are famous people. These people are, are, are considered the top class of society. But they don't acknowledge the glory of God. They don't acknowledge that there is a God. They, they think that we just came about and, and created ourselves. It's foolishness, man. Foolishness. Guys, anybody watching, I want to recommend something to you. If you know any atheist out there, I don't know if you ever heard of a guy named Ray Comfort. He challenges Charles Dawkins. He was, they mocked him and called him the banana man because he showed, he did a show, he had a TV show and he would have a banana and he would, he would do this spiel where he would basically prove the existence of the Lord, that the Lord created us because the banana is created perfectly to fit in our hand, which is true, to be honest with you. So this guy he completely, completely demolishes um, atheism, completely demolishes the thought of there being no God, completely demolishes, demolishes evolution, the theory of evolution. And by the way, it's a theory. Do you know that they still don't know what gravity is? They cannot measure gravity. All they did was name it. They name something, but they still call it a magic thing. That's what they call it. Charles Dawkins will call it that. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson said, we cannot measure it. We still don't know what it is. But yet they say it's gravity. And every time something falls, you go, oh, well, that's gravity. I'm going to tell you something. I don't even believe that. I think it's the theory of gravity. Just like it's the theory of evolution. Everything is a theory. Everything is a theory. I don't even believe we went to the moon. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. I believe Stanley Kubrick directed it. There's a great documentary you guys could watch. I'll get the name and put it in, uh, put it below about the moon landing and about big politicians saying that Nixon really wanted to get Stanley Kubrick to direct it because the Russians were on the verge of going to the moon. So Nixon was in a panic and he would, he, he was willing to do anything to pretend like we went to the moon and to film it professionally and have it look like we actually went to beat the Russians in the space race, the Cold War and all that. See, there's a lot of things we don't know. And I'm not saying I know everything.